I'm Jackie Lara Hare, the Tigress of the Light. I'm a light language channel, healer, and author of multiple best selling books on light codes. Now, today we have a light language request for the thymus gland. The thymus gland is actually something that's a really good idea to bring some attention to. It's part of the lymphatic system and your immune system as it produces immune cells to help protect the body. It's located in the chest between the lungs just below the collarbone. Energetically, it's connected to the heart chakra. And when it's supported by working with it consciously, it can be both a transmitter and receiver of cosmic energies, fostering greater energetic alignments for the body from the infinite realms. So with all of that in mind, I'd love to offer you a light language channeling to help bring your consciousness and awareness to this area. In other words, activating the thymus gland. And uh, in order to do that, I would like you to be a present um, active participant in this channeling by bringing some attention to your feet to keep you grounded and bring your attention to your heart space so that you remain as open to all these beautiful channeling energies as possible. Now, remember that the light language that I channel is aligned to the heart center. It is very, very heart connected. And uh, therefore, it is also in perfect alignment for all those who receive it. Light language, uh, in the way that I channel it anyway, is really, um, it's a really powerful, sweet um, invitation for each of us individually to work with in the best possible ways. Your being gets to choose how to work with the energy. So all we're doing when we channel the light language for you today is offering an energy and then it's up to your being on all your various levels of consciousness and awareness to work with the energies in the most perfect way for you. It's therefore a really, um, this is why it's actually a very powerful uh, way to channel energy um, because you get the sound, you get the dip very various levels of vibrations and ways that energy can come through. And uh, so it works really well for people. So I invite you to bring your attention to your feet and your heart space. Keep yourself nice and grounded. If you feel ungrounded at any time during these channelings, just focus in on your feet again. And it's also going to help to integrate, assimilate these energies into the body even more than if you weren't paying attention perhaps to your feet and staying in a more grounded space. Breathe with your heart space. Remember the thymus is... Um, just below the collarbones in the chest here, um, very connected to that heart chakra. They're very, very close to each other. Okay, and we're going to bring in some light language in support of this very special gland. <laughs> So just bringing in some of this energy for you to first connect to. Feeling into your heart space, feeling into your feet, keeping your breath a little bit slower and deeper than usual. So right now we're building a connection um, in case you don't already have this connection. We're building a connection between your feet and your thymus gland because we want to make sure that the energies that come through are going to remain very stable and anchored in the body. In other words, grounded. <laughs> The thymus gland is also, um, from the energetic perspective, uh, a highly intelligent kind of organ. Like it, it, it's very um, able to tune into those cosmic energies and cosmic frequencies. A lot of sacred geometry with the thymus gland. It plays an integral role in building those um, sacred geometric 
patterns in the body. So those of you who um, like to, say, activate the Merkaba and um, things like this, it, the sacred geometry within and around the body, um, the thymus plays an important role in doing that. So we're going to um, offer this area um, not limiting now to being uh, an organ or a gland or anything like that. And we're going to offer this area um, more energy. Which hopefully would even help with um, the immune system by strengthening um, this very important thymus. So you can imagine in the center of your thymus, there's like a gem, okay? There's like a jewel of some kind. Maybe it's a diamond for you. Maybe it's a ruby. Maybe it's something else entirely. I want to leave that completely open to you because um, this can really be something different for every person. It could be a pearl, but some kind of precious um, gem-like thing. <laughs> I'd like you to bring your focus and attention to this beautiful center of the thymus. And we're offering this center more energy, more light. So you can imagine, feel, sense, perceive in your unique way that gem that's at the center of the thymus starting to glow brighter. Perhaps it grows a little bigger, like because it's, um, the light is going to take up more space, uh, or it might just stay nice and small. Either way, it's just about getting the center, that beautiful gem or jewel, to glow even brighter. And as it grows brighter, you might notice that it starts to spin if you haven't noticed that it spins already. It starts to spin and it starts to gradually spin faster. It is an energy center. So it does spin naturally. Patata 
more energy, more light being brought into this space. And now I'd love for you to take a nice deep inhale through your nose and a nice big exhale out through your mouth. Let's try that again. Nice big inhale through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. You can even sigh if you want, if that feels good. Breathe like that one more time for me. Nice big inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Ah, <laughs> Amata nampati yeso pamata amata yeso chika batana ti hana tiga mata no takema no to kata tama no to kata tama na la to kata tama nama la to kata tala nama la to kata tala yeso non kumbati yeso tadi kumbati no to shike na tala yeso chiba ta. It's also very uh, connected to the throat center. Hana tala yeso chiba. I just want to bring that up as well. Uh, so when you work with it uh, more consciously, you can remember that it isn't just about the heart center, it is about the throat too. And perhaps uh, when you speak or if you like to sing, um, when you move the energy, throughout your body and you and you bring maybe some extra focus to the thymus that you include the throat perhaps you make some sounds that you feel resonate deeply with this area So right now we're um, bringing bringing uh, uh, sacred geometrical structure um, to the forefront for the thymus. Nice big inhale through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. 
Sinala ye te yin te gamata tana shike matano te ke si la ye te gamata no kapata. Pana la ye se te la ye te yin no te gamashi china te ke na. Pana te ye so te ke me te la ye te yin na te gamata no te gamasa chike na da. Ta la ye te na ma da. Really feeling your feet and heart space. Ta ke na te gamata shike la ye te gamata da. Hara 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 hara. Hara 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 sa 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 sa. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed this episode today, uh, focusing on the thymus. And uh, remember, if you have any topic suggestions for me, you can always shoot me an email at info at lightcoastbylara.com. You can also let me know in the comments below. And remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you get notified when we release new content. Don't forget to check out our international best-selling books. We have three beautiful light code books um, for you now that are amazing for the Ascension journey. They are healing. They are activating. They are there are beautiful wisdoms and teachings and sweetness, <laughs> very profound, powerful sweetness to help lift your heart and move you into those higher vibratory uh, frequencies of consciousness. So really, they are excellent for the ascension journey. They are essential piece of the awakening journey if you're into light codes at all. And, uh, and they're really easy to work with and fun to work with and dynamic. And there's so much you can do with them. They're, they're, they're exciting to work with, actually. Each one of them takes you on their own unique journey, um, introducing you to amazing energies. And each time you work with the code, you will have a different experience because each time you work with the code, you are in a different place. So the light codes work with you no matter where you are on your journey on any given day, any given moment, and they will offer your being a massive, infinite actually arrangement of energies on any given topic and it's your being that gets to decide how it's going to work with the energies and in what way and when and all that good stuff so all you have to do the most basic way to work with them is simply by just centering yourself getting yourself calm and grounded to the best of your ability and gaze upon the code and just breathe with it and feel it and sense what's ever coming up for you and that's your experience. And sometimes, wow, can it ever be an epic, epic experience. You have to try it out if you haven't already. If you do get a copy of one of those books, remember, please let let um, put a review up on Amazon. Uh, they are, of course, available on Amazon. And if you don't have Amazon, then they are available worldwide through your favorite retailers as well. So anywhere where you can find a book, you'll be able to order um, one of these beautiful light code books. So the Little Book of Light Codes, Volume 1 and Volume 2, and Light Codes for the Soul, all available for you. And we even have an Oracle card deck for the Little Book of Light Codes, uh, the very first book that we ever made. And we will be coming out with a uh, Oracle card deck for Volume 2 Ascension Codes. So it's all happening, you guys. And oh, another big announcement is we do have Fractaline Healing available now as an online uh, work at your own pace course. So uh, Fractaline Healing Level 1 is available through the website. And it is, again, another awesome, powerful, epic um, meditative tool for your toolbox. It's something that you can dive into and work on yourself and others, work with those I mean, I keep saying you can work with the Akashic Records and Twin Flames and things like that because I know like that's something that people are really interested in, but it's also somewhere where you can learn more about yourself. It's really a profound process of self-discovery and healing and gaining greater perspective and a place that if you don't know the best course of action to take in life, you can go into Fractaline Healing and ask those questions. And it's held in a sacred, sacred space that is driven by your heart center. And you can connect with your higher aspects and receive guidance. You can connect with the higher aspects and and check in on things. And like it's somewhere I go if I have a really powerful channeling and I'm a little bit like, wow, is that real? Because 
even me as a professional channeler, I still wonder sometimes. <laughs> and so I go into fractal line healing and say, wow, is this, is this for real? And I can get clarification in that space because it's so, I can trust it that much. And yeah, so you can work with ascended masters as well. And it's just, it's one of those things, again, you have to experience it to truly understand what I'm talking about. It, it takes your awareness to whole other levels and it makes, um, the life's journey, I guess, more clear and, and you're able to, to work, work with the various things that come up in life in a much more functional sort of way. You know, you're, you're, you're conscious about it. And you're entering into a space that's like absolutely consciousness, like that's what it is, is it's consciousness. It's it's a space of consciousness. <laughs> so if you bring something into that space, you're shedding light, you're shedding consciousness on onto whatever it is that you're needing to learn about or heal or grow from or let go of or whatever it is. And it's also a place that you can bring your um all of your tools. So if you know how to do shadow work, you like to do it in a certain way, you can do it in there. If you like to offer uh, distance healing and you, you have your favorite ways of doing that, you can do that in here. But the difference is that it's amplified and it's protected and you're given additional energies and tools and things that that you might require that you might not necessarily have easy access to. So Fractaline Healing gives you that easy access to everything that you could possibly need on your journey. So that's why it's so profound. That's why I keep talking about it. And I am excited and passionate about it. And I hope that you guys will check out this course because um, it really can be a game changer for a lot of people. So even if you're not that into meditating, it's, uh, it's, it's active enough for the mind and it can teach the mind how to settle down and and you can actually learn how to meditate by uh, working with fractaline healing. So, all right. Well, all blessings, my friends. Until I see you next time, wishing you the most amazing, wonderful, and fantastic day. All blessings. <laughs>